We use all high-end materials. We've done 200 bands, 170 different ways. We, uh, we wanted to bring that house feeling to your band. We have a sample right here. We use closed cell tiger phone. Uh, usually people have their dogs down here. You can opt out to not even get this. You'll see in the other van. This is a 500 pound aluminum powder coated tray. Believe it or not, it's the same length as a Toyota Camry. Hello again, welcome to the channel. This is Isaac. I'm with Venture Customs out of Philadelphia that is specialized in custom van builds and rentals. So I'm here with Roman. He'll do the show, so let's go. Uh, hey guys, I'm Roman from Venture Customs, Philadelphia's van conversion company. We are based out of Huntington Valley now. We just moved, got a bigger warehouse. So I'll give you a quick walkthrough of what we do. This is our trailhead build. It's our most popular layout. We've done over 200 van builds that are on the road now, so that gave us a lot of data and chances to improve our builds every time. Uh, so here it is. It's a nice open layout. We had an interior designer help design how the collar contrast works and the white walls and the ceiling gives you an open feeling even though you're in a tight space. Uh, this van is only 20 feet long. It's 19 and a half feet actually. Fits in any parking spot. Um, you have ability of having a pop-up shower where I'm standing. Usually it goes through the floor into the gray water tank underneath. You have a bathroom, a dry flush toilet here works as a diaper genie, so you don't have black water. And everything in the van is 12 volts besides the microwave and your induction cooktop. So that means that you can be off the grid completely and have the ability to run your van for days. Like we have not been plugged in while we've been at the show for two days now, and we're at 90% battery still. So you can run your batteries for a super long time we have really beefy dakota lithium batteries uh a ton of storage in this van you don't have well this is actually what a cartridge looks like for that dry flush toilet it has 15 flushes and it's like a diaper genie it just drops new bags and you take that as one bag and throw it out these are rentals so we don't want our workers messing with other people's fluids so this is the easiest and cleanest way to do that this van has a ton of storage. We use all lightweight plywood and ceiling. It's, you felt it earlier, it's feather light. It helps keep our builds around 1,500 pounds. And that's how this ProMaster gets around 18 miles to the gallon. Uh, we use all high-end materials. Like I said, we've done 200 vans, 170 different ways. We've used all sorts of materials out there that you can find. Uh, and we've come up with maple plywood being a great plywood to use. We um, CNC it, butt it into a dado, glue it, nail it, screw it together, and then we laminate it. That's why we don't have any screws or butted plywood joints on our cabinetry. Um, so it gives it a nice finish and it kind of feels like your house. Uh, we wanted to bring that house feeling to your van so that you don't feel like you're out in a plastic can wherever you are you want to feel like you're at home so you have house-like controls here dimmers all these lights are leds 12 volts usb chargers 110 volt charger to charge up all your things that you have you have dimmer lights here that you can uh charge your phone while you're in bed i use that all the time a lot more storage in these boxes. This also turns into a bed platform for a third person that sits above your head here. This opens up, slides into this platform, lip. And we've tested this with um, 400 pounds. This platform is really strong. This slides in here, 
this slides in here just like that you can sleep uh third person and we will sleep here pretty comfortably pretty sturdy yeah like a lot of people were questioning these uh z track lips uh but they're really strong and we'll store it up here with all the window covers we have insulated window covers that come with the vans they're magnetic windows are a great temperature conductor so investing in nice insulated window covers for your vans is essential keeps all the coldness outside or the heat outside um definitely essential to have because insulation is key in these vans speaking of insulation we have a sample right here we use closed cell tiger foam this is a smaller version of it we usually do two inches so that's r14 value best possible insulation you could have in a tin can it's also sound deadening it absorbs all the vibrations and reinforces your sheet metal of your van by a ton it gets a lot more structural integrity with having spray foam on that's throughout the van we use thinsulate synthetic wool wherever we can't use spray foam where the manufacturer doesn't want us to use spray foam uh, so that you maintain your warranty uh, we know all the dealers tricks and crannies um so you know when the dealer says they can't work on your van uh we know that they can because we did it to their guidelines we have push to open hardware marine drawer slides that keeps nice flush finish on your cabinetry nothing to catch your head on or your hips your clothes we had complaints about that so we got rid of it induction cooktop most efficient way to heat up your meals microwave uh you would think you not use it but you on the road you use it the most probably and a 12 volt dometic fridge this is a 110 liter so it's a pretty big fridge with a nice freezer compartment it only pulls five amps so that's what makes this electrical system run for so long we have a deep sink and a cutting board that goes in this is a marble style uh granite style countertop that is a laminate it's not as heavy as marble it gives you the look and it's super strong it's really important not to have super heavy countertops in a moving van we've had vans in accidents we make sure that they're um, accident proof where our passengers aren't in danger so everything is really bolted sturdy into the van and is not going anywhere here we have our little slide out table get some work done and pull it away when you're done our bed is actually a queen size bed you can be six foot three and stretch across there there's no flares we didn't cut into the van that's oh. why we love pro masters because we can bump out into the inside of the van. We just modify the framing of the van a little bit. We still have a little bit of insulation there. You don't really need it because you have an air conditioner. You can run for 30 hours. That's 12 volt. And you have a gasoline heater that's underneath the seat that you can run forever off of gasoline. All the controls are here. Uh, we keep it up and out of eyes view up here. Uh, over your head because you don't need to be messing with it all day you don't need to look at it all day so it all looks like only only home controls um there's the battery monitor converter charger your electromagnetic uh water level gauge by sea level and all the controls for your water heater gray heating pad fresh heating pad and gray valve that you can dump your gray valve water whenever you want by clicking a button heating pads on your water tanks so that the stuff doesn't freeze it's a four season van so you can have it in negative degree temperatures stc wabasta heating we also use the s bar they just came out with the new um b2l uh heater it adjusts itself up to eighteen thousand feet elevation so this van is your most popular uh version Yes. Okay. So I assume that one is not another bedroom, right? <laughs> no. I mean, it can be. If, if you 
get tired of your kids, they could go downstairs. Uh, usually people have their dogs down here. You can opt out to not even get this. You'll see in the other van, it's just a full walkthrough. Like, so you can, you can pop this door off too and have larger kayaks paddle boards. Um, super easy, but usually that's just storage. If you don't want to look at it, door or there's cabinets, drawers that we can put in here instead. That also turns into a step so you can hop into your bed. Another lagoon table up here. You flip it. You can flip it to have it useful in this area. And you can also mount it on the side of the kitchen here so that two of these seats uh, can use it. F45S awning side mount with that's mounted on the cowl roof rack. And this is our heart of the van. It's underneath the bed. We designed a bed so you could fit a large frame bike for six foot tall people. You could slide on this tray. This is a 500 pound aluminum powder coated tray. Comes all the way out. If it gets dirty, you can power wash it because it's a little aluminum. 12 volt water heater over here and a 30 gallon fresh water tank that is molded over the wheel well. There's a wheel well hidden behind there. Uh, so that's the heating pad. Um, that is 12 volt because it is the only way that you can run this entire system, uh, for a long time off the grid. So there's no propane or there is propane only for the heater? Uh, no, that heater runs on gasoline. So it runs on a cup of gasoline for a night. It can heat the van up to 70. It can make it a sauna in there if you wanted to, but it keeps the van nice and cozy. This is the heart of the van. We put a lot of time into our electrical and we have some of the beefiest, um, smallest batteries on the market, uh, by Dakota Lithium. They have 11 year warranty. They can handle negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit. They're made for the marine life. So. They're super strong and they can run that air conditioner for they're up to 30 hours because wow. the battery is 315 amp hours and it's the best per square inch battery you can get versus lead acid. Uh, one battery is going to weigh 350 pounds and this 50 pound battery replaces three of those. Yeah, it's, it's insane how how technology has evolved the 12 volt technology and then this is the uh bug screen also van essential makes it do you have that also on the main door yeah the sliding door gets it it's like regular house uh breaker panel everything's neatly labeled so it's easy to troubleshoot and maintain in the future for anyone could any electrician could do it you know vpr ko2 tires uh, black rhino wheels on this one. You can lift these up, put a little leveling kit and get more clearance. I know some people don't like the rear axle on the Pro Masters. We can actually flip it upside down and gain five more inches of clearance, just like that. And this is our wonder. This is our base build. It starts at 28,000. And this comes with everything you need. Tons of storage, kitchen, bathroom, and you could still do a pop up shower in this one too. Uh, this has a substantially smaller electrical system. As you can see, it only takes up that little cabinet right there. It's a gold zero. And it's a 3000 watt hour. You can upgrade it to 6000 watt hours. It still fits in there. And the rest is storage. You get a ton, a ton of storage in this van, in this build. Um, and again, 32 inch or 34 inch height for the bed clearance. This bed is super low profile. It can hold up to 800 pounds. Uh, that's what we tested. It could probably hold more, but I wouldn't recommend more than that. This one got the Fiamma awning also. This is the F80S. It's a top mount awning, so it can actually pop out further without any support. So it's a nice, easy uh, awning. It's also Luckily, you match the silver of the van. Another lagoon bag there. And this van is actually, believe it or not, it's the same length as a Toyota Camry. Uh, so you could fit this van in a lot of city parking spots and you can have a shower, place to cook, fan, um, big queen bed, ton of storage with the toilet and the foot space of your Toyota Camry, which is pretty crazy.
So this one is missing only the AC? It's missing the AC, yes. That's the biggest difference between the electric systems. But otherwise, heating is the same? Heating is the same. Everything that's 12 volt can still remain here. Uh, smaller fridge. Uh, this is a small fridge. It's 65 liters, but I, Laura and I, my wife, we have lived out of a fridge like this for two years and we were totally fine. We still had food going bad in the back of the fridge. Uh, we would just stop once every week, uh, to get food at a, you know, you're always on the road. So this bill has slightly different finishes. Uh, instead of a three slot, this is a two slot upper cabinet. Uh, we're not doing LEDs on this one just to save time on the labor. Uh, still, you're getting those higher end maple pre-finished plywood finishes. Uh, still no screws on the side of your cabinets or the faces. No hardware. Uh, this water system is a lot smaller. You got seven gallon fresh water, seven gallon gray, simple standalone system. You can winterize it just by a click in five seconds. Meant to be kind of a weekender. This is pretty similar to the van that I lived out of with Laura for two years. Uh, so I really like this van, this layout, super small and gets the job done. Cooking, you have the same thing. You have an induction cooktop. You pull it out, plug it into the wall. Cook yourself up a meal, same way as you would in the other van. The electrical system is more capable of handling it. If we had, for example, we've had this, the lights on in here for two days now with no solar charging or anything, and we're still at 100%. What kind of a solar uh, charging capacity do you have? This one has 400 watts of solar. The other one has 400 watts of solar as well. Usually we start out with 175 watts. And then you can add on up to 600 watts of solar if you want. It depends how much you're driving and how much you're sitting still in the sunlight. It kind of varies from customer to customer. And in Venture Customs, your customers, do they need to bring their own vehicles or would you supply vehicles as well? We're working on supplying the vehicles, but yes, you have to bring your own van. We work with six dealers that are local. They are partners with us, so they can help you finance the build and uh, help you get get you on the road and they can literally drop the van off at our shop so you're never gonna have to deal with it currently how many models do you have that are standard that you could deliver probably quicker than it is custom the custom ones right um we have six models that are pretty standard that we have set layouts we have set measurements uh that we you know had designed in our 3d cad programs and they're ready to go uh, but we're always doing custom builds and they're always turning into almost a standard build. Uh, so they're always kind of adding on always nonstop. And the vans come like cargo vans. So we can put the windows in wherever you want them, as many as you want. These are AMA windows. They have buck screens and they lock and they're tinted. So they're easy. To maintain, if you get them from your dealer, they won't be able to open. Usually we just end up breaking them and put in our own in anyway. And also in this van, you can add, in our, all of our builds actually, you can add seats. They're double bench seats or single bench. They can flip up. They're three point seat belt seats, uh, that are actually DOT approved seats. We bolt them into the frame of the van with plates. So it's the last thing that's going to come out of your van. And if customers wanted to find you, where do they go? You can go to our website. That's the easiest way. And the website is VentureCustom.com. Just hit click consultation and then you can email Laura if you have any questions. And you can go through YouTube or Instagram, find us through there, DM us and see more information that way. And as for rentals, uh, if uh, anybody wanted uh, to rent one of your vans, do they contact you or do they go elsewhere? Uh, you can contact us or go through Outdoorsy through our website. You can click on the link, the rental link. It takes you to Outdoorsy and book it from there. You can see all the availability dates and all the information on there.
So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. Give it a like and subscribe to the channel so that you can enjoy more videos to come. And until the next time, see you on the road. Thank you.